people saying Yalon rerun? What was the last time Yalon had a rerun? Um, I I I've I, I'm try, I have trouble remembering. But yeah, Yalon's been rerun a bunch of times right now. I'm not hmm. To rerun her again before like Ryze even gets his first one is a bit of a questionable decision. Nilu skin? Yeah, I know. It looks so pretty. I'm so tempted to get it. Honestly, yeah, I, I hmm. I'm just guessing. But I feel like Nilu will be rerun alongside uh Emily's banner. And then probably they want to sell those two together to like advertise a Nilu Bloom team. But for me personally, I'm gonna be pulling for um Emily on my main account, which has no Nilu, but just to use her in uh aggravate teams. At least I hope she's useful in these aggravate teams. I hope she's not like another Bloom focused um support like Nilu is. Because I feel like uh, Nilu already fulfills that niche as is. I don't think we need another. We don't need another character that, that's like super specific to Bloom as a whole. I wonder if we're getting that uh, new banner thingy. Oh, the Chronicle banner. So yeah, that hasn't been coming back in a while. <laughs> that was in what? When was that? Four point five or something, and then it just never came back. Yeah, hopefully you guys get another um, Chronicle banner so you can wish for the Libe characters. Because, yeah, I think they're going in order for region because the first Chronicle banner was Mondstadt. I believe the next one they, they'll do will be Leeway, which should have like characters like uh, um, Kaching, Ganyu, Shenha, Xianyun, and the like. Well, well probably not Xianyun because she's still new. But yeah, those characters specifically. But okay, special program beginning in... Uh, less than 10 seconds. Yeah, can't wait to see what Emily's all about. Cannot wait to see if there's any Nylon thesis in this. And, uh, yeah, let's begin! Hello, travelers! Welcome to the version 4.8 Hey, there's our gang! <gasps> I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler, Lumine. Before we get the ball rolling, let's introduce our other hosts. Yay! Me. Hello, everyone. My name is Amber Avilas, and I voice Emily, a famous perfumer from Fontaine. Huh. Hey, guys. My name <laughs> Not is what Kate I expected Chambers, Emily to sound. Nilu, <laughs> a talented dancer from Sumeru. <laughs> yeah. And I'm Julia Gu, the voice of Kirara, a courier from Inazuma. Also, yeah, uh, oh let, gosh, let me know if you guys can hear the stream just okay. Uh, I am so happy to have you guys here. Okay, y'all can probably guess why we're all here today. It's time for us to show off a new limited time summer map. Yes. Wait, wait, another one? The developers have been cooking a new time. one? Where are we getting the, the final version. Golden Apple Archipelago, well, but something like that? That's what the trailer is for. Let's take a look. Oh shit, trailer time. Let's go. So now that limited time region. Okay, shit. Port Oromos is currently oh, organizing a flower exhibition. That strange smell around here. Oh, we're going back to Sumeru? Hey, there's our girl. <gasps> Your sense of smell will become dull. Allow yourself to be consumed by your emotions. There she is. <laughs> the to think rationally. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Ooh. Oh, she's a sword. Wait, is that sword or polearm? I I can't tell. No, that looks like polearm. This will brighten up the place. Oh, is that her burst? Oh, that looks so so pretty. Yeah, Emily has such a pretty, pretty Here design. I'm gonna pull for her for sure. Supported by their companions. Oh shit! Okay, we are getting. Oh, this is like the summertime event in 3.8. Oh morning. Huh? Oh my god, the Nilu skin! Look at it. Oh my god, the Kira skin as well. Show it to me, please. That looks so so adorable. Look at the Grand Bazaar. Well, then I woke up just like this. Oh my gosh, she looks so, so pretty. <laughs> so this is what it feels like to ride a toy train. You're really easy to please, Navia. Are we? <laughs> this looks like a Disney line kind of event. <laughs> it's like we're in Kingdom Hearts or something. <laughs> Cool. 
cool. If you actually expect me to answer them all. Oh yeah, hat guy's here for some reason. Darshan Championship. Skara, what the fuck are you doing? To find the dragon responsible for this whole mess. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're getting a boss battle in this fucking region as well? Yeah, we're like in Paper Mario or something now. Holy shit, that's a good ass trailer. Oh my god, yeah. I, I uh, The Nilu skin and Kira skin look so, so good. Yeah, needless to say, I think the Kira skin is going to be for free. And Nilu skin is obviously paid, but I kind of want to get it, not going to lie. Also, yeah, I was right. Skara looks like he does not want to be there. <laughs> my question is, though, why is he there in the first place? It's kind of weird, considering we're going on a summer vacation and... That guy is there for some reason. Also, yeah, I posted the redeem code in the chat below. Uh, go ahead and redeem it. Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, I, I missed the character. Shit. Hang on, let me just go ahead and delete that real quick. Hang on. Uh, yeah, call me man and post it in the, yeah, the redeem code. Thanks for that, by the way. Yeah, redeem the code before 12 hours go by. Otherwise, those codes will expire. But holy damn, though, uh, yeah, so it is kind of like the summer event we had, like, like, um, in the bottle in 3.8. Wow, this is making me feel super ready for some summer adventures. I always love so, these events. I love it when the they give us, like, a temporary to region to explore. Character. Yes! Oh my gosh, that, that, that was the perfect segue. <laughs> a perfect segue, of course. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right, stop with the cat puns, otherwise Sino's gonna show up. Perfumers. Emily, woo! No, Emily isn't just a great perfumer. She's also a pharmacology and botany expert. Oh, wait, that oh. reminds me. Doesn't one of Cloran's voice lines mention that Emily has a true profession, an identity hmm. that stayed a mystery up till now? Oh, yeah. Well, no, also, she works with uh, Chiori sometimes, so that's a bit sus right there. A casual stroll after a meal aids digestion and... Is she sniffing a, a, a flower petal? So, would you like to join? Yeah, that's definitely a polearm, right? I can't tell. I thought it was a sword at first, but now looking at it more, it looks more like a polearm. Neutralize. So dendro polearm. I think the only dendro polearm we had so far is Yao Yao, and that's it. It kind of looks like the dendro travels oh burst. I'm not gonna gosh. lie. Oh my god, <laughs> she's so cool. Right? I love her shoes. Yes. They're so and, cool. and did you see when she smelled the perfume? Oh my also, gosh, I absolutely love that. <laughs> I can't unsee yes, this now, but people so have pointed out like, um, the, the little nipple flaps that she has right here. Like, yeah, that's a bit of an yes. odd design choice. I won't, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I know, right? So let me tell you. Oh yeah, that polearm looks actually pretty pretty as fuck. Actually. Ooh. The new products that she releases, you should. It looks like such a yeah, pretty cool polearm. <laughs> Almost. So if you want to get your hands on one of her perfumes, then be prepared to start lining up at four in the morning. Oh. Whoa. You know, not gonna lie, I ex <laughs> I thought Emily was gonna have like a deeper a voice, cleaner. judging by her character She's design. Forensic cleaner. Huh. Mm -hmm. She's the one. A what flaps now? Don't you see it right here? After an investigation has been concluded. Right here. <laughs> She's a very experienced cleaner, so she often picks up details and scraps of evidence that other people overlooked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So mm -hmm. she's kind of like a forensic examiner, you know. Chevrus mentioned it in one of her voice lines. She said that Emily's chemistry knowledge is super helpful for uncovering hidden clues during investigations. Hmm. She can tell what type of perfume that someone wears and hmm. where they've been spending time. Okay, it, huh. it all makes sense. Just from now. smelling them. <laughs> it's okay, weird hobby, not gonna lie. Word. That also explains how Emily and Chevrus got so close. Uh-huh, absolutely. Forensic cleaning is a lot more dangerous than creating perfumes. Hmm. Emily you know, I'm not gonna lie, from, just, about <laughs> judging by her costume, I thought she was from Samira at first, until I saw the Fontaine so hat. most people only know her as a famous perfumer. Oh, Emily's probably... Also, yeah, she's probably the first Dendro character we got in a long while. Right. From, like, high-end venues... When was the last Dendro character released? All the way back at Samira? It must take a lot of mental toughness to handle all that. exactly. And her professional experiences contribute to her unique combat style. Emily is a dendro polearm user. When she unleashes her elemental skill, she creates a Lumidus case that deals AOE dendro damage. Okay, Ooh, so like a mini uh, dendro really traveler nice burst. <laughs> it seems. 
The Lumi Deuce case is a creation that Emily is really proud of. Oh. It fires <gasps> oh, look at, that. at nearby opponents periodically, which deals dendro damage. Oh. Oh. Collects when sense nearby from nearby burning opponents. Burning okay, okay action, so the burning the set, uh, the artifact set, sense at intervals. Oh. will be oh, useful yeah, on right. her. After collecting two cents, the Lumiduce case will be upgraded from level one. Okay, so she's a burning two. focus character. Oh. At level okay. two, the Lumiduce case can fire an extra puff of pure dew. Oh, the damage dealt by the puffs of pure dew will also be increased. Only one Lumiduce case created by Emily. That's kind of good actually, because burning is like one of the reactions oh, wait, that, that people that just never use. Pointless to collect sense once you've already reached level two, though. So yeah, hopefully oh, Emily no. makes bur the burning no, no, reaction no. actually viable. After Emily's <gasps> passive talent. Lingering Fragrance has been unlocked. The level two yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying this as well. The Burning Combo with Emily plus Toma. I've been using Toma so much lately. <laughs> It'd be nice to get more use out of him as well. <laughs> okay, so if I'm understanding this correctly, only enemies under the Burning status will create sense. Yeah, I wonder if she'll make Burning viable as Needle make kind of like Mono exactly. Bloom teams viable. That sums it up perfectly. Oh. After unlocking one of her specific talents, Emily will deal greater damage to enemies under the burning condition. Oh, and when a Lumiduce okay. case is on the field, it increases the entire party's resistance to burning damage. Oh, okay. Oh, now so you don't burn yourself in the process. That's kind of nice, actually. So, once you use her Lumiduce case to apply Dendro to your enemies, you can use a Pyro skill with a different character to trigger the oh, burning. Yeah, Arlequina will definitely uh -huh. be useful there too. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay. And the Lumiduce case has even more functionality. I don't think of combos oh, that this could be useful on. Emily's Obviously, Shangling. Emily is gonna be a good one. Toma Emily. Three and collect the existing Lumiduce case on the field. Oh, that's probably cool. Yoi Mia Emily as well. I do. I do want to try that as well. To do to continuously. I'm not sure if Hu Chao Emily will <laughs> work necessarily though. Dendro damage. Yeah. When the level three Lumiduce case leaves the field, a new Lumiduce case will be created. This case will be at the same level as the one. Honestly, she I, I'm kind of tempted to try. Okay. So if a level two Lumiduce case is about to leave the field, good lord, that thing's just firing nonstop. To reset its duration, uh, that way the level two that, Lumiduce that case burst will be stays able to spend there for a really long time. Holy crap, it, it's still <laughs> there. It seems like you've really figured out her kit. But we should let travelers expand. How long does it stay in the field for? Okay, I that's think like I a good like Emily twenty seconds or something. We've learned about her skills. Holy she shit! She transforms <laughs> scents into perfumes and leaves the world a cleaner place. Yes. Honestly, her skills seem to perfectly combine her talents as both a perfumer and forensic cleaner. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay, great. Emily her talents seem to perfect her as a perfumer. That's why she Next, sets shit on fire. <laughs> this is like what? <laughs> Emily is on the case. She always manages to discover the truth. Ooh, are we gonna her job is based on benefiting from plants, <laughs> but her gameplay is <laughs> her burning plants. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it's yeah. like what? During <laughs> Emily's story quest, the Pumum de Ombra chapter, travelers will learn about the mysterious Auguste flower that has appeared in Sumeru. Travelers will work with Emily to uncover a series of mysteries. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, Emily's story quest. That's to be expected. Once and for all. So oh, exciting! I love mysteries. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You'll have to leave travelers to uncover the details for themselves. Oh. In the meantime, I have some other information to share. <gasps> oh! Well, yeah, honestly, I kind of barely listened to her skill set, but of course. we'll know we'll know more about it once we do get her <laughs> to try her out. Oh, there we go, reruns. Oh yeah, Navia and Nilu. Returning event wishes okay, from so. Navia and Nilu. Be sure to check them huh. out if you're interested. <laughs> and in the second phase of version 4.8, Yela. We'll okay, okay. Whoever said Yela rerun was right. A new five-star polearm. Is, what, what is this? Yela's fourth free run? On the weapon banner. Interesting. Right. Also interesting okay. that, um, that Emily's in the second phase. Now, so let's take a break <laughs> for my sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, that polearm yeah, that looks so, good. so cool. It's also the right time to show the second redemption. Not gonna lie. Anyway. <laughs> I wonder okay. how that polearm would look on Arlequino. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. There's your banners. So, yeah, Navia and Nilu phase one. Emily, Yelan phase two. Interesting, interesting. I just have the feeling pe more people are going to be pulling for Yelan, though, considering she's mad busted. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be pulling for Emily for sure, but I don't know. Part of me is tempted to get Nilu as well, just for her skin. 
<laughs> Actually, considering that uh, Emily's in the second phase, I think I may be able to save enough Primos to maybe get both Nilu and um, uh, Emily. Also, like, this artwork looks adorable. Chevrus eating a freaking donut. God, how much does Chevrus eat? <laughs> Okay, never mind. I thought these two would be like a good combo together until I just realized that uh, Shavers does not work if there's a um, non Dendo or Pyro character in the party. Or non Electro or Pyro. Ooh, it looks like we're headed to a new place. And if we're headed to a beautiful location, then it's only fitting to wear a beautiful outfit. Yes, exactly. Yep. You are so right. And <laughs> show them and skins. Kirara will get new outfits in version 4.8. Oh, I'm, so excited. I'm so ready. So ready. Oh, okay. Let's start off. I know I love Needless Chibi so much. It looks so adorable. I have to say, it's totally awesome. <laughs> I have to share it with y'all in more detail. Okay, look, take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Oh my god. Yeah, look at her. God, she's pretty as fuck. <laughs> on a fairy tale journey. Oh, <laughs> the fucking feetsies are showing. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Her burst looks so much better with that skin on. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, the Nilu fans are going to go crazy over this. I can already just tell. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She looks so Breeze of Saba. Oh, my God. The splash art as well looks so cute. Like, look at all the flowers and, like, the, the skirt being petals. Oh, my yes, gosh. Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, so pretty. Uh, oh, it, it really she, yeah, not gonna lie, she kind of looks like Kokomi. Yes, <laughs> We're like the bottom awesome. part of her dress. Shows off her beauty even more, and I'm so happy. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's also a really cool story behind this outfit. Does oh, really? anyone remember hmm. the title of the new version? Yeah, Summer Tide Scales and Tails. Like fairy tales, right? Scales oh, and tails. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me the dress is like actually yeah, made from exactly. like a dragon or something. This summer, Travelers will get to visit a fairy tale world known as Simulanka. In this world, Nilu will get a new outfit and a new identity. That is so Ooh, exciting. So awesome. <laughs> of course, she's got to have the full so thighs just hanging out. <laughs> so, I'm guessing Simulanka. Ah, uh, what? No show gets of the Karara skin? Region? Come on now. <laughs> and this fairy tale world is facing all sorts of crises. Travelers will discover. Holy shit. Wait, how big is this new area? Shortly after entering this world. <gasps> Oh, oh my, my gosh! Goodness. Whoa, whoa! That footprint. Whoa! Is what huge. the? Wait a second. Oh, <laughs> okay. to be oh that's a dragon we're like gonna that. be fighting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Skara's oh, is facing. Oh, and if you follow the footprints into the <laughs> yeah, what are we gonna region, get like a event exclusive boss in this update as well? Origami That'd be kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so you might be able to get some valuable information from. Oh my god! Is every single animal here just origami? <gasps> Oh my god, that looks so cute. What are those? Mouse? Yes, they do. Very perceptive of you. Some of the origami Oh my god, please, can, can we keep one of these guys in our teapots? The color of their paper is fading. Oh, I know. Oh, so the pipe, <laughs> pipe puzzles. So Yay. To work together with their friends to revitalize the forest and help those animals solve this crisis. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I will do anything to help these origami creatures. I love Absolutely. them already. Can we keep one? <laughs> Can we keep one in our teapot, please? Yes. But, okay, <laughs> travelers won't have to face these crises alone. They'll oh my god, the squirrels look so cute, too. companions during their journey in Simulanka. Hey, it's Kirara in her new outfit. And Nadia! Yes. Oh, ah. and there's Hat Guy. And Don Sombrero. <laughs> <laughs> if travelers are interested in seeing how the events in Simulanka unfold... What is he doing sure here? That's, what, that's the one thing I want to know. Why is he, why is he of all people outfit. in this area? Can we take a closer Why would look? he choose to come to a Thank place like you this? For noticing. <laughs> That's just what I've been waiting for. Yes. God, that Kira skin looks so so pretty. Honestly, I've been looking for a good excuse to like try a Kirara and wait, change her box form too. Wait, I could have sworn her box form looked different. Won't I get Aww. people if I dress like this on a delivery? Okay, Hoyu, you don't need to, you didn't need to show that back angle. <laughs> Phantom in boots. So oh my god, wait, she has like a, a mask on as well? She's so cool, it looks like she's ready for an adventure. Oh yeah! Hat, 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 hat. adorable! Yes. yes, I fucking love the yeah, hat. The color, With the fucking cat ears and everything. All complement Kirara perfectly. 
She's really giving me like a strong impression of a vigilante who comes out at night. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, you better yes. watch out. <laughs> well, I just noticed this little cat Festival. down here stealing Travelers money in her cat in her splash yard. For free. Wow. Excerpts of bliss will be scattered throughout Simulanka. Travelers will need to collect jubilant feathers and open fairy tales. Ah, so like the barber skin in the uh, of bliss. Apple Archipelago. After you've collected enough of these excerpts, travelers can obtain Kiara's new outfit for free. Plus, you yep. can also get Primo Gems and other rewards. Yes! Oh, Holy awesome. damn, Fies, though. I know what I'm doing the minute 4.8 goes oh, by. Oh, fucking... oh my god, so that, that actually my does change your box outfit. form. That's a little mask on. That's yeah, so, yeah. so cool. Yeah, yeah, you can uh, definitely... <laughs> okay, I'm tempted to build Kira right now, and I'm not gonna lie. In the new version. You think so? Well, there's even more content in the big camera. Oh, you get a free Kira yes, as well. I think that's good, Simulata actually, because I don't think I have Kira C6 yet. Can enjoy. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Oh, you got it. Travelers mm -hmm. can look forward to four different kinds of gameplay in Simulanka, and they all follow a unique theme. Ooh. The first is called Boreal Flurry. Whoa. Travelers will have to move through streaming currents and destroy targets to score points and earn rewards. Oh, hey, guys, look, it's Destroying the... <laughs> special targets will even produce... You know what this reminds points. me of? It reminds me of the... I really, really, the really Devalon, love to like, say shooting more, thing. We'll you guys remember that? Experiment with them in the game. You know, you shooting Devalon oh with like your little it's turret so cool. it's like, at the beginning of Monset. Mid-air? That's awesome. Yeah, That's, right? This so is what cool. kind of reminds me of. Oh. Okay, next up, we have Flying Hatter's Trick. Travelers can use a flying hat to attract oh. toy figures, allowing them to score points in a variety of different game modes. Oh, hey! I don't know why, like yeah, as soon as I saw the hat, I thought, just like I just immediately assumed games. that Hexing Circle would be in involved. Exactly, I am still terrible at this. <laughs> I don't know, I just expected, oh, like, Mona to, like, come out of I nowhere. <laughs> I hope so, thank you for your belief in me. <laughs> so, wait. <laughs> Is this this whole game just based off abducting people? Trials. Travelers will need to form two teams to complete a combat trial. Defeating opponents will accumulate valor. Filling your Valor energy bar will trigger a Time for Valor. Okay, so not a combat energy. event. Ooh, nice. nice. Defeating opponents while a Time for Valor is active will earn you even more points. Oh, and travelers who Man, I can't wait to get, get back into Genshin to be able to like coins. play the Imaginium the Theorem. Uh, Imaginium Theater event. I really want to play that once I'm free. To earn keepsake figurines. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that makes it even easier for travelers to remember their journey. Aww. Wait. What a cute or Do we actually get to keep them in our teapot? Just a little guy. Could <laughs> we have to gamble for the figurines? <clears throat> um, after travelers have used the fantastical fabricators enough times, they'll be able to invite Kirara to their team and claim special rewards, including Prima Gems and Serenity Pot furnishings. Oh, and travelers can display their figurines on good frames, both Ooh. inside the oh Serenity my God. Pot and around <laughs> That's kind of cool, longer. actually. But don't worry if you don't Wait, the, the bird. I want to see the bird. <laughs> the bird looks funny. You can trade figurines with your friends. Oh. Yes! Oh. Oh, okay, that's yes. where. Okay, so you randomly roll, roll like the furnishings, but you have to like exchange them out to like get every single to. one. Mm -hmm. Not sure how I feel about Alice that, but I'll ask you guys for help if I need to. Oh, oh, okay, you've got perfect timing. All right, let's take a look. Oh, at the Oh, what's rest this? The okay, this is on to the other like miniature okay. events. Yes. Oh, first up, we're introducing the Imaginarium Theater. A once blank canvas has been sitting in a corner of the theater Wait, is this? lobby. Is this an event now, for an Imaginium Theater? Vibrant colors have emerged on its surface. Yeah, keep in mind, I haven't this started Imaginium Theorem yet. Mode will launch in version 4. Uh, Imaginium Theater. Right. Fucking, I always Five mispronounce that. Five Echoes challenges will become available in version 4.8. Each oh, challenge shit. will correspond to a designated character. Hmm. Travelers will receive two keys Oh my god, they're copying the shit from Wuthering Waves. Wait. Each challenge requires two keys to unlock. <laughs> If you complete the challenge, then you'll be able to obtain the corresponding character's Echo Cosmetic Reward. Wait, isn't this a shit from Wilding Waves where, like... And once you've equipped an Echo onto its designated character, they'll have a unique trailing effect while Oh, no, it's, it's cosmetic. Oh, my God. That's actually kind of cool, Phoenix though. Echo looks like flaming feathers. That's so cool. Oh, yes, I thought it's going to be, like, a cos uh, like a thing where it, like, upgrades the character's moveset. Honestly, I feel like that's something that Huta would be super interested in. <laughs> that Chi-Chi wall looks kind of right? nice, not going to lie. They won't make me play her, though. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I have a question. If we only start off with two keys, then that Okay, so we're getting more cosmetics than just regular outfits. That's, challenge, that, right? that's nice. Are there any other ways to obtain those keys? I wonder, oh, can this Echo course. be equipped on, like, anybody or just on the specified character? The Imaginarium Theater, where they complete and finalize a combat performance in Act 6 or higher. 
Oh, okay, so you can't unlock those Echo rewards in one go. Oh, drag. Yes, Come on, exactly. is this Echo stuff permanent, or is it, like, so take your time, limited time? Everyone. There's no need to rush. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> Just on a specified oh, character? Ah, oh, that sucks. You can only complete the challenge using its I would love to like character. equip the Echoes on just any one of the characters. You're also going to pay attention to the character level and friendship level requirements. The participating character hey, must did be you guys, 90, <laughs> Did they say friendship, friendship level? level? I have nearly all my characters high. friendship 10. It's time to test except well, for Cloran really and, uh, <laughs> and Sethos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The Envisaged Echoes Challenge doesn't just test how well you can use a character, but also how well you understand their skills. Oh Each yeah. challenge has Yeet. specific <laughs> obstacles, and you'll only be able to pass if you fully mastered the character's skill mechanics. Huh. That's awesome! As a certified oh, gene main so for a good while, <laughs> so I... Ready. yeah, I'm definitely gonna be <laughs> having fun with this challenge. You can also look forward to a ton of events happening in Fontaine. Travelers will get to meet Bing Bang Finchball. In Harbor, oh wait, which isn't this the play, Bing Bang Finchball? Thanks, Bossima. Bossima and Finchball seems to remind me of something. Oh wait, wasn't there also a Bossima in version 3.8? Oh. Yeah, the one where you like slide oh, like the uh, little penguins and the have to like land them in like was a certain spots. replica of a human who once visited the Valeria Mirage five centuries ago. Oh, she invented yeah. the earliest version of Finchball. The Bossima in Fontaine is her descendant. Mm. Wow, that is such a neat connection. Yeah. And since so much time has passed, I'm guessing that we'll get to experience a new kind of Finchball. Exactly. <laughs> Travelers will still yep, need this to one again. balls into target zones in order to score points. This event was fun, but so these new I don't mind it coming back. Rival finch balls. Oh. Rival finch balls will make it harder to score points, so. Travelers will need to strategize ah, based on the yes. situation. Yes, kill the rival birdies. Ooh, wow, that like shot sucked. <laughs> I'm excited to try the new finch ball. And that's not the only new addition. This version also has a co op mode. What? what? So you can be each other's rival. Finch ball. Oh, wait, we get to play against each other? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, can freely choose their level while they're in co op mode. Each level has different terrain characteristics and types of finch balls. Players will take turns launching finch balls, and the person with the most points after four rounds will win the match. Hmm. That sounds that's kinda, really fun. That's kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's I like mean, angry birds. Look at these little guys, look at the little finches, they're so cute. <laughs> I'm noticing a trend that like oh some God, of these co-op events are becoming more and more bird related. Oh, First we got that like Candy Crush this? one in Staria, now this one. Still remember Asagiri's photo taking commission? Oh, the uh, photo taking uh, events. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is the one where it's like take picture of something <laughs> red, take picture of some uh bird or whatever. Time, her photo requirements aren't as strict. Travelers can easily satisfy the commission requirements by submitting photos of their favorite characters. An interval timer mode has also been added, making it easier for travelers to capture their characters in the perfect moment. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to see what all the master photographers are going to come up with. Oh, yeah. We'll also have the opportunity to meet up with Hosseini in Fontaine, and he's brought an upgraded energy amplifier with him. Wait, wasn't Hosseini studying energy amplifiers in order to Oh, yeah, okay, so we've seen all these events before. Does this mean can I wish they released the cosmetics for many characters instead of not just so few? I mean, yeah, it's, it seems like those echo things, like the trail effects, are only for, what, five characters? Yeah, I wonder why they don't just release them for, like, more of the cast. Because at this point, Genshin has, like, what, over 50 characters in their roster? I feel like at least 10 of those characters should get echoes, but oh well. Totally. So in each stage, travelers will Oh, you need to form three, three teams to this time. Okay. Rounds of combat tests. Hmm. Oh, okay. Each party member will provide a fixed amount of motive force based on their character level. Hmm. Motive force can be used to set up ley line effectors, which grant buffs in combat. Oh, so the same character can be assigned in multiple parties. But repeating characters... Hey, I'm all for, like, more cosmetic more options in, uh, in Genshin. Because, yeah, they so release skins so, so slowly that I wouldn't teams. mind, like, having, oh, like, an accessory okay, option I for each character. So like the Echoes are. So, we to make sure that each party has enough motive force to receive combat buffs. That way we can obtain a higher score. <laughs> exactly. Once you've configured all the buff slots for a single party, but yeah, 100% I'm gonna gonna try and gun for that gene trail. All right. Also, the D look one too might motivate to me more to play him more. Awesome! 
Okay, is anyone else here excited about card games? TCG, oh, know, Navia, I, Chevros, I know, and... I'm excited about card games. <laughs> and whatnot. I haven't played TCG in a hot minute, Rangers, honestly. 4 .8, a couple of I used to love it, playing it so much. Now I just barely touch TCG. it anymore. New monster cards and action cards will also be available. Sweet. Also, yeah. the Overflowing Mastery event is returning in yes. version 4.8. So, hey, don't miss double... Let's go. All right. The double ley lines or double talent books? I'm, right. I'm guessing it's ley lines. So next, Let's talk about system optimizations. Wow, Sarah's on Oh, hey, QR, all right. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I've, I haven't actually <laughs> okay, seen the QR off, for this update, so we'll see. ...has been improved. In version 4.8, excess and counterpoints earned from daily activities can now be stored. Oh. Ooh, travelers won't excellent. have to worry oh, about sweet. them going to waste anymore. Ooh, okay, so how That's do we good, actually. Because we I always well, have loved to hoard. Long-term encounter points. Like event, encounter uh, points <laughs> event, event rewards. Just to save up my encounter points for the next day. <laughs> will be reset during every version update that ends with point zero. In other words, the first update for a new region. That means the first reset will occur in version 5.0. Sweet. Oh, nice. Okay, so this starts in... Yeah, or you can save them for a rainy day. That gives travelers a lot more freedom. Ooh, also, the cooldown for all Also, they've all confirmed it, by the way. 5.0 is the next update. Seconds. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. oh. I know. That should make it a lot easier to farm materials. That works perfectly with the changes to the encounter point oh, system. You'll be able to convert oh, encounter door. points even faster now that cooldown periods are shorter. That's super convenient. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, we've also got new optimizations for travelers who love to follow the game's stories. We will now have a one-click high UI feature, oh. which will hopefully provide a more immersive experience. That's cool. In addition, that'd be good for like taking screenshots. Hey, the dialogue, the dialogue review. Okay, about time to edit this, honestly. So I was surprised it was in Star Rail, but not in Genshin. Ooh, <laughs> that is perfect for travelers who like to. Yeah, that's gonna be useful for if I accidentally like skip dialogue. dialogue. Hmm. Oh, you can look forward to a bunch of other optimizations in version 4.8. Mm -hmm. Some domains in Mondstadt and Liyue will be adjusted. Travelers can choose to lower their world level once they've reached world level three. The difficulty of the license to glide quest will also be lowered. Just huh. to name a few. Okay, oh, so it's pretty much just that will be so helpful for new players. Nerfing It'll the difficulty of old stuff to <laughs> make stuff more accessible for the newbies. But be sure to keep an eye out for future announcements to learn more information. Hmm. Well, uh, we hit everything, right? Actually, okay, not back you all changes. Have some more information to share. But <gasps> first, let's display the final redemption code. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, uh, yeah, one more redemption code, Where folks. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty good live stream, honestly. Uh, yeah, mainly excited for, of course, the skins and also um, the event and everything. And can't wait for Emily to come out. Kind of weird that she's releasing the second phase, but. Meh, I guess it is what it is. Also, yes, <laughs> since they reached the end of explaining everything, I, yeah, show us Natlin, Hoyo, show us Natlin. Also, yeah, I'll type, uh, there we go. There's a redeem code in the chat, folks. Be sure you copy and paste it and uh, claim it within 12 hours. Otherwise, it's going to go away. <laughs> I just realized <laughs> she has a little like poster here. Also, judging from the shot right here, if you just shown me this randomly, I would assume Kira was in Panacone or something. <laughs> that kind of what is, that's kind of what it reminds me of of the Panacone main building, <laughs> the background. I mean, all right, Hoyo, come on, Psh, wrap it up well. Show us Natlin. Welcome back, travelers. Hello. Hello. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right, let's get straight to the information that I promised. Oh, Natlin stuff. Oh, oh, hey, what's this? Oh, Aw, so <laughs> Chibi Ether and Lumine. Okay, <laughs> listen carefully, everyone. A oh, Hoyo Fest. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hoyo Fest is coming soon. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> For those of you who might not know, Hoyo Fest is an annual event that celebrates all. I'm surprised they're announcing Hoyo Fest in a live stream. Oh, so they've never, never really done this before. Oh, that's exciting! Yeah. I, of course, will be attending a Hoyo Fest if it happens in my country. <laughs> online and offline events. By participating in these events, uh, I just need to know when, to though. <laughs> when does it happen? Merch, event exclusive gifts and both in-game and out-of-game rewards. <gasps> Feel free to join in on the fun, travelers. 
More detailed information will be posted across Genshin Impact's official accounts, so stay tuned. <laughs> hey, so I'll be sure to take photos of HoYoFest when I go there. <laughs> if it does show up in my country. Genshin Impact will be partnering with one of the largest aquariums what in the, the world. What the fuck? Sea Aquarium. Hopefully, travelers will be able to participate in an entire They're collaborating with an aquarium? Huh. Oh, I, I don't think Genshin Impact has ever teamed up with an aquarium before. Uh, yeah, that, that, that is a... Uh... It's got to be a Fontaine-themed collaboration, right? Yes, you guessed it! Nailed it! This event will be based on Fontaine. Oh yeah, Kira was talking, by the way. I realize my dog VTuber is blocking that, but... <laughs> yeah. travelers as they encounter marine creatures and explore the mysteries of the deep sea. Keep an eye on Genshin Impacts and... Could you imagine just walking around in an aquarium, like, bringing your kids in an aquarium to see, like, the turtles or whatever, and you just see fucking Kokomi? Just, I don't know, inside the aquarium for some reason? I know, that's just a funny thought to me. The knockout stages of Astra Carnival, the Prince Cup for the Atlantic, and Pacific regions... Oh yeah, Genshin TCG, like, IRL tournaments. They host these, by the way, like, nearly all the time. And the Pacific stage will be held on August 2nd. So look forward to a fierce showdown between top players from those two regions. Mm. Okay, Koya, come on, you're stalling at this point. You, you know what we want to see. The come on. Stages begin, all travelers will receive a commemorative card back in their in-game mailbox. Yeah, let's go. So be sure to follow the official Astro Carnival account for more information. And that's not all. Genjin Impact's fourth commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume oh, 4, shoot. will become available. Wait, are we gonna get the music from the Dane Quest? Please, please, please be included. Music composed by the I love that part of the music so much. It includes tracks from version 4.8 events, cuts yes. music from versions 4.0 to 4.8, and other content. Oh, I'm so excited for it. Music slaps. Music. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to it forever. <laughs> Is it time? All right, that's all the information that we have to share okay <laughs> we know it's not yeah. over over hoyo come on we we it's know we know the deal by now yeah. but damn though no. this was a pretty well, pretty good at live stream not gonna lie say we go? yeah the event yes. is what i'm gonna be looking forward uh, to the most I'm very excited and i'm definitely gonna be buying the needle skin and pulling for emily Kimara. they are so adorable and i can't wait to see like their yeah. new uh, roles that they get to play in this new event. I'm I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. Also, yeah, more change, more to, additions to Imagine Theater. Um, Imagine that. Theater, um, like yeah, it's always welcome. <laughs> but always down oh, for more permanent so, content so in the game. The echoes, like oh, I'm so down for all of this customization. And it's gonna be version 4.9. Oh, about <laughs> you got Listen, I'm just Very excited. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say I'm so excited that you all get to finally meet Emily. Yay! I really hope you like her. I know, totally. And I am super duper excited for Hoyo Fest and also for the Sea Aquarium collaboration. Yes. That is so exciting and cool. I can't wait to see what happens with that. Yeah, again, I'm very yes. weirded out by the decision to right. put Emily well, in the second half, the but eh, is what it is. Thank you all so much for being here. And yeah, I guess we'll see y'all in game. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Show us now and show us now and show us now and show us now. And show us now and <laughs> oh, yep, there we go. Whoa. Oh, who? Oh, wait, isn't that the girl on the uh, Tibet Cap the trailer? Whoa, look at that. Wait, no, that's a different. This seems like a different character. Oh my gosh, she's so tiny. <laughs> what are those enemies? Dragon people? <laughs> Who is this little girl? Why is she being chased? <laughs> oh, who's this? Oh my god, I love all these character designs. Who's this? Why does she look like Yao Yao, <laughs> but in animal form? She's surfing a fucking shark! <laughs> Who are all these characters? I need to know their names. Who is fucking real <laughs> wild? Wait, <laughs> who's like Black Don Hung over here? <laughs> um, Koya, you, you can't drop that. Okay, so I guess those are are the characters that are gonna be released in 5.0. Holy sh! Koya, please at least give us their names. Oh my god, the black haired guy looks sick. <laughs> and I love that one girl was like surfing a shark or something. Okay, so. I, I'm going to guess those are our version 4 5.0 characters that we're going to get in Atlan. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Great, now Emily's sales have been plummeted to zero because nobody's gonna bolt for her now. Uh, poor Emily. But man, those enemy designs look sick. They, ha they were like people but with like uh, dragon horns on them and whatnot. They look kind of sick, honestly. <laughs> also, I love that little... Um, yeah, that little girl who seems like she has the ability to like climb up mountains just with her with her fucking <laughs> Beyblade or something that she was riding on. I'm, I'm not sure. I need to watch that again. But yep, those are definitely going to be our 5.0 characters. And I cannot wait to see when they are revealed. They're probably going to be drip marketed, actually. Um, yeah, I, I feel like uh, when we near the release of version 4.8, we're going to get their drip marketing and know what their names are. But <laughs> let's just say I'm already interested in fucking black haired Shao over there. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't just me, right? It kind of <laughs> that guy kind of reminded me of Shao, but just with black hair. <laughs> yeah, I have the feeling the black haired guy and the uh, the shark riding girl are five stars, and the little uh, girl is like four star. Just just speculating. But holy damn, though, what a goaded fucking special program. Oh, I cannot wait for this update, and I cannot wait for Natland as well. Yeah, I, I, I absolutely cannot wait to, to, to learn more about those characters. Okay, so let's uh, do a quick recap of what we've seen so far. So, Nilu and Navia reruns are going to be in the first half of 4.8, and then the second half is going to be Emily and Yelan rerun. We're going to get this new summertime event, which is uh, going to be a limited time explorable area. For some reason, Hat Guy decided to tag along, and we're getting a free Kirara as well as a free Kirara skin. We're also getting Nilu skin as well, which is going to be paid, presumably, uh, like all the other skins are. Um, and yeah, we're getting like several events on top of that. And also in addition to Imaginium Theater, which gives us these echoes for like specified characters. Uh, I think the only characters that we've seen were like, yeah, Jean, D. Luke, Chi Chi, Ning Wong, and somebody else I'm forgetting. <laughs> uh, yeah, but, but five characters are getting echoes from Imaginium Theorem. Uh, theater. I don't know why I say theorem. <laughs> Excuse my mispronunciation. And also, yeah, it seems like we're finding an ex event-exclusive boss in this uh, island as well. Like that dragon that um, Scaramouche is facing down. Not sure what that's all about, but I'm kind of hoping there's like... Yeah, it's a boss we can actually fight. And yeah, we also got reruns of like many other events, and... I think that's kind of it. And yeah, of course, we got the Natlin Thesis as well. And the QL changes that um, yeah, will definitely be helpful. And yeah, I think that's about that about like pretty much sums up uh, 4.8 as a whole. And uh, yeah, I absolutely cannot wait for this update to go live. <laughs> but okay, guys, that about does it for the end of our version 4.8 special uh, program reaction. Uh, let me go to YouTube actually, see if we can look at the trailer or the special program once again. Oh, yeah, we can right here. Hang on, I want I want to take a close look at those characters. Yeah, look at this guy. I don't know, his hair reminds me of Xiao. Okay, I'm gonna take a closer look at these Natalie character designs as well. She's like little ears on top of her. She's riding a freaking shark across the water. That's sick. She's definitely a Hydra character, right? Why does she remind me of a VTuber? <laughs> Actually, wait, have you guys seen Pecora? Um, the VTuber called Pecora? This is what... She kind of reminds me of that VTuber. This character right here. <laughs> also, I've noticed she's wearing very, very little clothing. Holy crap. <laughs> this guy, though. This guy. Okay, he's Dendro for sure, right? Is he, like, flying through the sky or something? Holy shit, she's showing a lot of skin. <laughs> oh my god. That made a bit much for Hoya standards. Okay, this girl right here. Yeah, she kind of looks like Hook. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like Hook from Honkai Star Rail, but brought to Genshin. Yeah, can we see their visions, I wonder? Like, let me rewind here. I mean, I think we can possibly, like, infer what their... What their visions are. I'm gonna guess she's... Oh yeah, she has a little, like, Beyblade or whatever that, like, lets her climb the mountains. I'm guessing she's Geo? Maybe? Potentially Geo? 
I'll say this enemy design. He has a fucking like saw blade on his hand right there. <gasps> Also, wait, I just realized they're kind of like just showing us a Natlan map just by having this character's run throughout all of it. So we're going to, yeah, this is exactly what the Natlan map is going to look like. This girl right here. I'm going to assume she's Hydro, considering she was riding that shark. Yeah, I definitely a Hydro character, right? <laughs> or Cryo, maybe. Dude, why does his character, why does his character like kind of remind you of like somebody else from like a different anime? Either way, he looks like a mixture between Don Hung and Xiao. <laughs> but but like a bit more edgy with like black hair. He looks sick. And also judging by the colors, I feel like he's Dendro. The first four star Den Geo character in 80 years. <laughs> yeah, the way he's glowing is super cool. I hope that's like part of his kid. But yeah, just guessing, she's Geo, uh, this girl right here is Hydro, and he's Dendro. Just assuming. Yeah, look, 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 look at the way this guy folds his arm, it's, it's kind of like Xiao. Wait, is that his vision right there? Are, th are those what Natlin visions look like? Like this little square thing right here? I want to see if we can catch this girl's vision as well. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see hers either, but I'm going to assume she's Geo. I feel like that's a vision, but it could be just a rhyme accessory that looks like a vision for all we know. Wait. Oh, confirmed. Look, look at that. Okay. Uh, little lolly girl is a uh, Geo. I can't see the vision on this character, but I'm going to heavily assume she's Hydro. Also, yeah, look at these enemy designs, though. What what are they on about? They look like they've, like, killed Geo Bishops and are just, like, wearing their, their shells as armor or something. Yeah, they look like Eremites, but a bit more savage. <laughs> oh, my God, though. Also, yeah, the backgrounds of Natlin look so, so sick as well. Man, Natlin is so close. It's I can almost taste it. Holy shit. <laughs> also, yeah, this guy's using a great sword, so he's, like... Yeah, Denjo Claymore, kind of like Kabe. I have no idea what you, what these guys' uh, weapons are gonna be using, but hey, I'm I'm gonna heavily look forward to them when they uh, appear in 5.0. The vision has a four-studded star based on the zoom in pic I saw on Twitter. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I can't really zoom in in right here, but I'll try and like look at it a bit more once I... Oh, but you can kind of see it right here on this character's vision. On Furry Hook, I'm going to call her. <laughs> yeah, it seems like there's some like jagged edges around the uh, vision, just based on like how, how am I seeing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting character design for a nation of war. Yeah, honestly, this this does make me question, is Nalan actually in a war right now? Or are people just saying that, like, in fun, in a, into that? Because, not gonna lie, Nalan looks pretty peaceful. I'm not gonna lie. Just based off uh, these uh, these areas we've seen so far, it doesn't really look like a nation of war, per se. Yeah, I wonder... Yeah, I hope uh, once you do get to Nalan, we get a lore explanation as to what is what the war even is and to why are there no natlan npcs outside of natlan because we haven't met a single natlan npc so far at all also yeah there you go folks the entire uh natlan map <laughs> i like I, I yeah <laughs> i think the character i like this guy's design i also like the the blue girl's design as well also, was she just like break dancing there for a minute? I hope that shark is like part of her gameplay. <laughs> I don't know why, that shark plushy looks so, so cute. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like a tribal war, maybe. Maybe like a, like, like a full on war war, but like a tribal war, yeah. Maybe that's it. Okay, let me just uh, go back in the stream here to see if I missed anything. 
No, I don't think I missed much. It's just like, yeah, a few events here and there. We're getting, yeah, these uh, little echo trails for... Onto it, those challenges will become available in version Which can unlock using keys, so I'm gonna assume this is like permanent. Designated character. Hmm. Okay, so it's for Diluc Jean, Ningguang Chi Chi, and who else? And oh, Kirara. Each right. Challenge requires two and, okay. It requires... Okay, so it requires you reaching... Getting them to a specific level. Getting their friendship level to a specified level. And then also using these keys to get their trails. Okay. Also, it seems like you can hold up to a maximum of four of them, kind of like the story keys, which is kind of interesting. Also, yeah, I'm very excited about the ability to like be able to, you know, store um, encounter points. That is going to be very useful when I, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, when I need to just log into Genshin and just log back out. Yeah, there we go. Kirara skin and also Nilo skin as well. Yeah, honestly, tempted to build Kirara because of that skin. But yeah, a very, very good at live stream as a whole. He definitely looks like I'm not wrong for thinking this, right? I'm not wrong for thinking that this guy gives off like Shao vibes. <laughs> Although the top part of his body and the bottom half don't really match. <laughs> like, why is the bottom half of his body like blue and the top half is like pure black? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I'm getting like Don Hung slash Shao vibes from this guy. But okay, boys, that about wraps it up for my reaction to the version uh, 4.8 special program. Oh, man. I, I Yeah, I cannot wait for it, and I cannot wait for Natlan as well. It's, it's going to be so, so hype. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed my reaction, be sure to leave a like on this uh, stream if you enjoyed it. And, you know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts on version 4.8 as a whole. And yeah, subscribe to the channel because I will be returning next week once I'm done from exam hell to... Uh, yeah, play ZZZ, try Imagine Ethereum for the first time, and of course I'll be pulling for Emily. Uh, yeah, when she does come out in version four point eight. And yeah, if you want to catch any more videos or streams from me, yeah, be sure you subscribe today so you don't miss them, and you know turn on the notification bell so you know when a video or stream goes live. But alrighty, folks, that is probably where I'm gonna end things off for the day, everybody. Oh, actually, <laughs> Hoy just released a short based on 4.8. For too long, and your sense of smell will become dull. Yeah. yeah, honestly, I'm pretty excited for Emily as well. I can't wait till uh, yeah, till she comes out because her gameplay looks very interesting. But okay, boys, that is what I'm gonna dip for to now, guys. I gotta get back to um, yeah, working on my uh, school project and whatnot, and uh, making sure I don't fail. But yeah, I will be back on July 9th to um. Yeah, play ZZZ and also stream stream it um, as much as I possibly can, as well as uh, do uh, Siege Green Story Quest and also the Imaginium Theater event in Genshin. So yeah, I'll be back by next week. Don't you worry. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, my channel's not dead just yet. But okay, boys, that is where I'm going to take off for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and thank you all for coming out to uh, join me with this special program watch party. Yeah, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I hope to see you guys once again in the next video. Take care, you guys, and have a good night. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys again in the next one. Yeah, I definitely gotta get... 